Myself Durga S Kumar working as an audiologist in the Department of Audiology at All India Institute of Speech and Hearing Mysore. We know that nowadays hearing loss is a most common problem which is caused by many factors such as noise exposure, infection, aging, trauma, hereditary etc. Basically various structural and physiological changes in our auditory system and the auditory mechanism are the major common causes of having hearing loss. So whenever a person reports that his hearing sensitivity got reduced up to an extent it can be identified through subjective observation basically the effect of hearing impairment can be identified however this subjective observation will not be sufficient to know the exact status of one person's hearing status so for that to have a quantitative information about a person's hearing status an instrument called pyotone audiometer is used pyotone audiometer make use of two important aspects of sound one is the frequency that is a type of sound which is measured in hertz other one is intensity or loudness which is measured in decibel in pure tone audiometry sounds of single frequencies or pure tones are used which is in the range of 250 to 8000 hertz we know that our cochlea which is also known as organ for hearing has a response in the frequency region of 20 hertz to 20000 hertz Practically, it is not possible to plot all these frequencies. So, in order to overcome this, 250 to 8000 Hz is used for the pure audiometry testing. So, these frequencies are important because most of our speech sounds are in this frequency region. The purpose of the Pyotone audiometry is to identify the softest or the faintest sound at a particular frequency a person can hear. The softest level of a sound a person can hear is called as threshold of hearing. Based on the threshold of hearing, the degree of hearing loss can be identified by comparing it with the established norms. Audiologist who is a healthcare professional will be dealing with the Pyotone audiometry testing. In Pyotone audiometry, both the right ear and the left ear are tested separately. This will be giving information separately. So, comparison between the two ears are possible. The testing starts with an air conduction testing where whole system evaluation is done using a headphone or an insert which is placed in the ear and sounds will be presented through it. It will be traveled from outer ear, middle ear and finally reaching to the inner ear. So basically by this we will be getting the extent of hearing loss whether the person is having hearing loss or the person is having normal hearing sensitivity. But this air conduction testing will not be giving information regarding the type of hearing loss. To know the type of hearing loss, one more testing that is the bone conduction testing is used. Bone conduction testing make use of a bone conduction vibrator which is placed behind the ear basically in the mastoid region and the sounds are presented. In the bone conduction testing, sounds are presented in the frequency range of 250 to 4000 Hz whereas in air conduction testing, sounds are presented in the frequency region of 250 to 8000 Hz. It is always necessary to carry out this Pyotone audiometry test in a sound treated room as the background noise will have an effect over the audiometric test results. So an audiologist should make sure that the noise levels are within the accepted levels. Coming to the role of the patient, these tests are conducted usually in adults as well as in older children. So whenever the sound appears in their ear, they will be asked to respond by raising their finger or pressing the button. So even it is a very soft sound, person will be asked to respond. Based on the response, the thresholds of hearing can be identified. The Pyotone audiometry results are explained in a graphical representation called audiogram. Audiogram will have frequency and intensity in their x and y axis. So based on the thresholds of hearing, it will be giving information regarding the degree of hearing loss. In audiogram, right ear and left ear are represented using red color as well as blue color respectively. Apart from the color code, there are other symbols also which can be explained through audiogram. So coming to the end, whenever you are feeling that your hearing sensitivity is reducing, always better to have an audiological evaluation. 
I hope the information from the video was helpful. Thank you.